an amazing thing about being a painting major is that I'm able to have studio space here in the art building and all of my creative processes happens here. And I know there's other studios for each specific major, whether it's printmaking or sculpture. It's been a huge thing to help me grow, especially as an artist, and to know if I'm doing something right or if I'm just completely making bad art. I've gone and met them in the cities and created my portfolio with them. I really enjoy being at St. Cloud State more because of the community of this art building and the people that I'm involved with here and being surrounded by studios and other students. My name is Kate Bromond. I've been here for five years now. I am a BA in studio art, I'm also minoring in psychology. I focus primarily on printmaking, though recently I've been kind of dabbling in sculpture. When I first came here, I worked in a lot of different mediums and when I first took printmaking, I think it was my second year here, it really opened me up to um, a medium that I could combine everything I had already been doing into one type of art and I really enjoyed that and I started focusing on that for a few years and until recently I um, really enjoyed what I was doing and then I realized that um, I needed to branch out and work more on sculpture and when I did that I realized truly how um, great this building is and its facilities and um, what it offers to students like the printmaking workshop has every kind of press you could imagine you can work in any kind of print medium you want and then even the sculpture we have this great workshop down there that you can pretty much build anything you want a big part of the facilities here um, is the main gallery downstairs where we have a lot of visiting artists come and show and having those artists here really opened up students to um, art all over the country even um, from other countries to kind of help them expand their own work and give them new opportunities and ideas to rethink of what they're doing. I've kind of really come to thinking a lot about what's going to be like li leaving this place and I think it's going to be really hard because you know it's really as a family here and you get to know every student really well and they are your family and I don't know what it's going to be like to leave, but I'm not looking forward to it in some ways. Just be hard. Hi, my name is Melanie. I'm a sophomore here at St. Cloud State. I am a drawing major, and my ultimate goal is to go to medical illustration. And so that's why I'm here. I ended up there helping me to my path to grad school and everything. This is my first semester taking art classes and so far I really enjoyed them. The group of kids are really a lot of fun and uh, the professors are always willing to help. Also the building, you know, it's always nice to be on the east side of the building where it overlooks the river. It beats looking out at a parking lot for sure. It's also by Atwood where it's just a step over getting a smoothie or getting breakfast at Garvey so it's a perfect location on campus. My name is Amon Spiegelberg, I'm from Missoula, Montana. This is my fourth year in Minnesota and I'm a graphic design major. The professors are great, the courses are challenging. It's kind of, it lets me really be creative and kind of work to my abilities. I was originally, had my goals set on a different field and I just, I felt more welcomed and more at home in the art department. And the professors have treated me well, the classmates are, they're great, they're fun to get along with. It's, it's definitely felt like home. Yeah, my name's Eric Landis. I'm a fixed term faculty here in the graphic design area of the fine art department. And I think one of the real benefits of this particular program, it's a generalist program, which means that it's very open-ended. What we try to do is teach a variety of classes that give students a range of skills that they can then apply to whatever job they're seeking out in the world. Um, I think it's good in that it gives people a chance to sample different kinds of graphic design production. Uh, it gives them different kinds of problems to solve and different ways to think about graphic design, hopefully in a broad and open-ended way. Um, I think a lot of people arrive with the misconception that graphic design is about the computer, about the tools that create graphic design, and hopefully through the process of teaching we 
get them to think a little differently about it and help them to understand that in the end it's how they think about problems, about their uh, problem solving skills that really make the difference to them out in the world. I currently work in the wood shop, it's a work study program that, we, that they set me up with, so it's nice to have a little bit of extra income. My time is pretty much up at Kiel here, but I'll really miss it. It's like a small community and you really get to know your the faculty very well. Um, you make a lot of friends and a lot of contacts here and uh, and uh, yeah, it's just like a like a small community. It's like a like a home. So hey, I'm David Severson, I'm chair of the art department. I've been chair for seven years. The things that we're we're proud about in the department or that we value. Uh, first, in terms of, of, of level of plot, I think the department does put a lot of store in the fact that we, we are accredited by uh, the National Association of Schools of Art and Design, and we're one of the uh, only four in the state. Um, but what that really means is that uh, we find we find a lot of energy in, in this department, that we really are, I think from the faculty perspective, uh, a faculty of artists, active artists, designers, art historians, uh, who are actively engaged in, in the work of creating art and design, and that we bring students into that. And it's that, that energy of active artists and designers and then the energy of the students learning by, uh, yes, coursework, but I think working with uh, faculty who are seeing themselves not simply as university faculty or teachers, but people who are truly active uh, in their fields and bringing students into that. So the, the energy is like, I think, seeing all sorts of St. Cloud State students showing up at openings down at the city, you know, because they're there with the faculty. That becomes kind of an image to me of, of the kind of energy that goes on here. Or every year, the great uh, juried student show, where you just get um, you know, 150, 200 students just here looking eager to see what jurors have said about their work, uh, very interested in how their, how their work is kind of uh, uh, perceived uh, by arts professionals, and it's that, that, that kind of eagerness, I think, uh, that, that has a lot to do uh, with the energy of